argument about stolen cakes. What's popping YouTube? One out of billions in the house. Welcome to Incognito. Today, I'm gonna tell you a story about an elder gentleman who was brave enough to stand against a particular businessman. You could describe that business model as a slavery ring. Before we start, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Moving on. I'm one out of billion, an undercover journalist. Different identities, one thing in common, the art to lie. I've told over a hundred stories. And now it's time to tell mine. As a journalist, I've done many stories about tax avoidance, so I know this field. But this company surprised me, because it took it to a completely different level. So there was this security company. They, like many companies, are in search of employees. And they prefer their employees to be seniors or people with disabilities. Which is quite nice because that's the employee category that different businesses, unfortunately, try to avoid. Company's philosophy! This company's philosophy was like this. We will take seniors and people with disabilities and we will pay them as little as we can. As it's hard for them to find work, they most likely will still work for us. When employees sign their contract, their hourly rate is a bit more than 2 euros per hour, which was the hourly rate for minimum wage back then. Do you think they receive that money? Wrong. In reality, employees work for an hourly rate of 90 cents for an hour, which is more than two times less than the minimum hourly rate. Crazy! Do you think they didn't pay taxes? Wrong! They paid taxes, but 24 times less than they had to. For one 24-hour shift, bosses paid taxes as if the employee had worked for one hour. One hour! Do you think at least the attitude from the bosses was decent? Wrong! From the video and audio footage I saw, I can tell you the bosses were treating their employees as slaves, humiliating them and weren't even shy to threat a bit. For example, one time boss yelled to his employees that if some of this information will go outside the work, they will be in a big trouble because they have signed different papers, blah, blah, blah. And to flex just a little bit, boss took out a license which said he's a policeman's assistant. These were the things their employee got really sick of and came to our TV channel with a story. He was an elder with disabilities. We checked his documentation and statements. It looked like he was telling the truth. We asked him if he could secretly record how the bosses are paying out salaries. He agreed. We showed him how to operate a hidden camera and hoped that he will succeed. Later, he returned with his footage. As he said, I don't know if I got something, check how it looks on the computer. I opened the footage and I was shocked. That elder filmed with a hidden camera as if he was a pro. You could see and hear everything, how the boss comes with his Grand Cherokee, which back then was worth nearly 70,000 euros. He confirms uh, that the hourly rate for his employees is only 90 cents for an hour, how he humiliates another employee as if he wasn't his boss but some kind of chow trying to rob or beat him. Argument about stolen cakes. As far as I understood, the employee was hungry and he hadn't eaten anything for two days. He had to work. That's why he went to the locker room and stole a cake from construction workers. Okay, he didn't do the right thing, but judging from the context, he didn't have any money because his hourly rate was more than two times lower than the minimum hourly rate. And he really hadn't eaten for 48 hours. At least that's what he was saying. Do you think boss calmly explained that he should have borrowed money and bought food in the shop? 
Wrong. Boss yelled at him as he wanted to just beat him up. Just crazy. And that's done by policeman's assistant. I contacted the police to understand if that's true. And it was. Kinda. That guy was policeman's assistant until a few years ago. He was assistant of a policeman who left his job. That means the guy couldn't assist anyone anymore and had nothing to do with the police. But he hadn't returned the documentation and kept using it for bad goals. Conclusions Lesson number one. Don't be afraid to head back. I feel huge respect for the older man who decided to stand up for himself and his colleagues and did what he did. It took a lot of courage. Lesson number two. Watch out for karma. In one moment, you're yelling at your elder employee for stealing cakes. The next day, situation is shown on TV. Lesson number three. If you don't want anything to do with financial police, you should pay at least the minimum hourly rate. What do you think of this episode? Leave comments below. I want to hear your opinion. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to One Out of Billion. If you're generous enough to support this channel, PayPal cryptocurrency donations are accepted. Links are in the description. I also have a Patreon page and I would like you to become my patron. Any kind of support is appreciated. Happy Father's Day and shout out to all the brave people. I'm One Out of Billion. Peace out. Incognito.